Member of Parliament in Sri Lanka, joining us live from Bhatti Kaloa district. Uh, thank you for joining us, Shanakya. First of all, what's the situation this evening in Sri Lanka? Uh, what's the situation in terms of the violence we're hearing, uh, looking at the pictures which are disturbing, getting in reports of people who are dead? What can you tell us? Uh, well, the country is uh, actually heading to a state of anarchy uh, after Prime Minister Rajapaksha uh, and President Rajapaksha unleashed uh, their goons and their thugs on innocent uh, civilians who were uh, protesting for over 30 days, peacefully demanding their resignation. And uh, Prime Minister Rajapaksha's resignation came along with uh, setting the entire country on fire because naturally uh, the violence was instigated by his own uh, former ministers and MPs who gave uh, very fierce speeches uh, uh, instigating this violence and now the violence has spread right throughout the country and uh, we hear that there are the ruling parties uh, uh, party officers are still being set rights uh, MPs member of parliaments are still being uh, searched for and their houses are being set uh, set on fire and their supporters are being attacked and we hear that uh, Prime Minister Rajapaksha who resigned yesterday along with his extended family are right now uh, in a naval camp in uh, the eastern city of uh, Batiklo, rather eastern city of uh, uh, Trincomalee. And, uh, <clears throat> and the public are demanding that the Navy uh, sends them out. So uh, right now, from an economic crisis, uh, we've gone far deep into a political crisis, and uh, this needs to be resolved uh, really fast because uh, Sri Lanka's foreign reserves, as per the former finance minister, uh, who is no no more finance minister since the uh, prime minister resigned said it's under 50 million dollars so even any program with the imf we don't even have a finance minister in the country right now who could deal with the imf to yeah. uh, work out a uh, strategy Shanakya, where where where, are, where is uh, mahinda rajapaksa has he fled we saw those pictures of his uh, wife fleeing i mean are they in sri lanka has the entire family fled we saw homes being burned their homes ancestral home we believe was burned have they gone yeah. Well, uh, these house burnings and all seem like a coordinated attack because no one was present in any of the houses uh, when these houses were burned. And there are many videos uh, such as the one that's being played on screen right now that have surfaced on social media of uh, various uh, helicopters and Air Force planes carrying people. Uh, but however, uh, nothing's been confirmed. Nobody knows where the Prime Minister Rajapaksha is. But there are rumours that, like I just mentioned, that he's in a yes. distant uh, naval base in Trincomalee. But we don't know. There is no official reports on where he is. But but the, but the general public want to know that since he has resigned as Prime Minister, he's just an ordinary member of parliament right now and his family just be, yes. you know, become ordinary citizens. How do they get uh, privileged uh, treatment over anybody else? I'm a member of parliament. Will my family get a... A helicopter and will my family be protected in the eastern uh, naval camp uh, is, is a question that many public uh, yeah, seem in to fact, be asking. In fact, Shanaki, I'm getting in some breaking news updates uh, right now. Troops have been ordered to open fire on anyone who causes damage to civilian property and individuals. That's a breaking news update. Once again, I'm repeating that. Troops in Sri Lanka have been ordered to open fire on anyone who causes damage to civilian property and individuals, according to the Ministry of Defence in Sri Lanka. On that note, I'm taking a short break. Thank you, Shanakya, uh, parliamentarian in Sri Lanka, joining us on this special broadcast. I'm taking a short break now. Super fast 50.